Now, the Allen Institute, funded by Paul Allen, who is a co-founder of Microsoft, he's a smart man with, with, with a good brain. Indeed, indeed. He, and I, maybe this is going to map his brain, but that's a lot of money. That's, uh, in, in any uh, research realm, that's, that's a, a lot of money. And it comes on the heels of uh, previous donations of his. So his, his total uh, philanthropic commitment to basic brain research now is half a billion dollars. Wow. Um, wow. And what they're up to here actually is really uh, very unique. The Allen Institute, uh, which he started up in his uh, hometown of Seattle with a $100 million grant a couple of years ago, um, it's not like a conventional research laboratory. It's much more like a product-driven, uh, high-tech startup. Uh, they are building the tools that allow uh, scientists worldwide to reverse engineer the brain. And uh, they're doing this as a, as a matter of basic research, and it has great promise, of course, for eventually yielding clues to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and alt, uh, autism or whatever. And it's uh, one of the things that's driving Mr. Allen in this, uh, I'm told, is, you know, it's not well known, but his mother has Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do think that as a more uh, fundamental matter, he really is driven by the intellectual challenge of uh, figuring out the, you know, really it's the essence of what makes us human. You know, if you I, think of the brain as a computer, it is the ultimate computer. I mean, every synapse. Well, yours might be. No, no. I mean, every synapse in, in our brain has about 50,000 proton molecules that act as like transistors. Uh, there are a thousand trillion um, of these synapses. Each one of them has got the microprocessing power of an old Intel 286 chip, if you want to make a, 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 an analogy. So that, could, that was the heart of Windows the old, 3. That was the heart of the old IBM AT. The 286 <laughs> couldn't run <coughs> Windows 3. <laughs> right. Right? Let's be but, real. Okay. But a thousand trillion of those, you're talking about a level of interconnected complexity that's equal to, you know, the global internet and every computer connected. I want to get to the, the nut of this, though, um, which is yeah. it's, this is going to explore the roots of vision and then it says decision, right. decision making, I presume. An enormous chunk of your brain is devoted uh, to processing visual information. I mean, and what they want to do, starting with the mouse brain, working all the way up through human cells, uh, with uh, using stem cells, um, is to uh, figure out how the brain at the most fundamental level um, encodes, uh, stores, processes, and acts on um, the information that you perceive. So the visual system is the perfect model for this.